Good morning, everybody. This is Tom Callis, and I'm on with uh, – who am I on with? Hi, Tom. Gary Ingalls. And uh, I live in Hilo. Where do you live, uh, Gary? In Woodruff, Wisconsin. And it's uh, it's about 68 degrees here. What What's the temperature there? Uh, I have uh, four below. Oh, shoot. Ball me. Well, this is our fourth uh, seminar for – School Owner 101, we're keeping it really basic. And so uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about basics, and then, Gary, I'm going to turn it over to you to talk a little bit about basics. And then uh, in the future, as our membership grows, we will probably be answering questions or dealing with issues that are brought up by members. But for now, we're just going to talk about the things we know about that beginning school owners need to know. And the first one I'm going to talk about uh, is one that I talked about last week, but I just want to drive it home, is that uh, as a school owner, you have a responsibility to have uh, three solid leads a day coming over your front desk or in your book. Now, three solid leads just simply mean you have three emails from three people who may or may not, or may, or not may not, may be interested in your lessons or in taking lessons or in getting fit or in learning self-defense or whatever it is it fits within the guideline of your business. And so that turns in, a three a day turns into uh, 20 working days. That's 30 or 60 leads a month. And our goal is to turn those 60 leads into, you know, attending students. So three leads a day means that if you run the business with your wife or husband, you are responsible for one and a half, you yeah? know? And... Uh, just a sec, my wife's making coffee for me. I'm doing a kitchen a kitchen conference this morning, like Khrushchev and Nixon. And, of course, I just dated myself. And so uh, three leads a day. Now, when you get a lead, what do you do with it? Well, the new strategy, the old strategy was uh, you had to follow up on a lead on the average of seven times, they said, before you made a sale. And so, you know, seven times was the thing. And it, when I used to say that, everybody would go, oh, wow, seven times, you know. Well, now it's like 700 times, you know. You put people on a mailing list, uh, and so you have to have a way to do that. And, Gary, maybe you can bring that up. And then you uh, you keep them informed about what you're doing around the school, and you give them tidbits of information, and you, you, uh, you know, take care of them and keep in contact with them and provide a service for them and befriend them, if at all possible. And friends buy from friends. And about... Time number 42, the person will give you a call and say, boy, I really love that last email. Now, when are your evening classes? This is what we're hoping for. And so uh, any of you who are running small programs, if you could just, you know, discipline yourself to focus on three leads a day, it's going to change your world. Uh, when you get a big list, you may not be able to learn how to, or you may not know how to close them yet and get them as students, but we'll work on that. First thing is getting a big list. Gary, what would you say about all the basics? Um, yeah, I'm going to touch on building a list because that's huge. Um, uh, if you can uh, start to build relationships uh, by getting on the community, by doing simple uh, tasks, simple uh, events, simple uh, demos, and, and whatever it is you're doing, just getting out and talking to people. It doesn't matter really what you're doing. Uh, as long as you're getting out there and, and building relationships, meeting people, uh, introducing them to you know who you are and what it is that you do, um, the, the goal with all this would be to generate those three leads a day that Tom was talking about, and, and that's your list. So, you know, at the end of that uh, that month, you've got 60 leads uh, that uh, you, you enter into a simple system. And I can show you how to set up a, a real, you know, basic website. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Um, take you, you know, just a few minutes to set up. Um, and the idea is that uh, you know, you're, you're just dropping them some information here and there. When you come across a great article that gives them value, you know, give them some information and, and keep them uh, learning more and more about who you are and, and what it is that you are, are focused on in your school. Uh, so uh, so that, that's real important. Uh, you know, building relationships, building the list, keeping in contact with them. And, uh, you know, Tom, you always uh, bring up that point that, uh, um, you know, when the, the student is ready, the teacher appears. And, you, know, you may meet somebody now who gets on your list, but you know, they're really not ready for classes for another six months or so. And uh, you're, you're three months later, and, and all of a sudden they got this email from you. You know, that just kind of inspired them. You know, something that uh, that you said that you know uh, uh, got them. That just kind of grabbed them and said, you know, yeah, I got to go take action. I got to go take classes now. This is uh, this is something I really want to do. And maybe you just uh, uh, you know, again inspired them to come in. And so staying in touch with them. 
real basic yeah, and, uh, there that can help with any of it. Absolutely. And, you know, the, you might wonder, too, well, what's the best way to get new students? You know, what are the five top? You know, you, when you're a new school owner, when you're a veteran school owner, you do everything. <laughs> you do right. everything you can afford, you know, and you do everything that you're smart enough to do. You know, if you, there's a, three ways to break down the uh, things you do. There's a good, great, and ingenious acts of marketing. You know, a good one is handing somebody a business card, uh, getting their email. A great one is getting a whole classroom of them, you know. And an ingenious one is when you create a program that the school system promotes and you're teaching uh, hundreds and hundreds of people. So you just, you're only limited by your imagination and your you know, your ability to schmooze, and uh, you just do whatever you can, and it's not beneath you by any means. It's uh, part of how you build your business and you teach. Part of what you teach is on the floor, and part of what you teach is verbal and cerebral and getting people in the right frame of mind. And You know, I can go out there and teach a whole class of kicks and punches, and if the, if the students aren't mentally in the right place, it really is painful. So part of your job is getting people mentally in the right place. And uh, you can't do that by kicking them in the head, although, God, and I've I, I, I tried. Haven't you, Gary? <laughs> it doesn't work. 